Britain's software engineer is interested in trying to prove once and for all whether we're being watched and visited by extraterrestrial spacecraft. I'm Dave Cote, and I'm here to help explain why we are sending a satellite, or CubeSat, into low Earth orbit in the name of science and disclosure. First, what our sat is capable of. Ionized radiation. We have a scintillation counter that enables us to measure various radiation in our satellite's environment. This is significant as it enables us to measure high energy particles, radiation, and other phenomenon. Cameras. We will use two cameras with parabolic lenses, giving us a clear 360 degree view around our satellite. Our radiation detection and imagery will give us enough to verify high energy emitting objects in space. What our project aims to do is use a low orbit satellite controlled by us, the individuals, to study potential objects in our Earth's atmosphere. Maybe we'll get data readings and pictures of solar flared caused auroras. Maybe we'll capture images of some very interesting meteors. And maybe we'll actually capture a verifiable craft. All we can do is try, and by doing this our way, we can open source the data to you, the individuals. Hi, my name is Matt Lippert and I'm the build technician for the CubeSat for Disclosure. Our goal is to build a 1U CubeSat that has the capabilities of taking pictures and measuring radiation within low Earth or orbit. So to do this, our 1U CubeSat will have a VHF, UHF antenna and radio board, a command and data handler board, and batteries and electrical power system, hopefully two cameras with the infrared filters taken out, and a camera processing board. Our command and data handler will be based on the AVR32 microcontroller. It'll have a gyroscope, an accelerometer, a magnetometer, three temperature sensors, uh, a sun, six sun sensors, one on each face, uh, UART communication to the radio board, and UART communication to the payload processor. We'll also have a debug UART and a USB bootloader, so we do not need to use a JTAG programmer. For software, we'll be using a free RTOS, a real-time operating system that will handle all commands and data to and from the CubeSat. We'll be using the EVK1101 for prototyping and interfacing our sensors and radio. Here is a video of our EVK1101 with a Wi-Fi, a gyroscope, magnetometer, accelerometer, and an extra micro SD card. We'll be using the open source BeagleBone Black for processing our two cameras and also processing our Geiger counter. Here you can see a, an example UART camera that is attached to our BeagleBone. This, this also includes a BeagleBone camera cape that I use for prototyping. Um, so that, that's it. Uh, I really hope you guys can help us fund. Uh, I'm really excited about this project. Uh, and thank you for listening. Well, do you believe, excuse me, in UFOs? <laughs> a Canadian software engineer is interested in trying to prove once and for all whether we're being watched and visited by extraterrestrial spacecraft. Well, Dave Cote started out as a skeptic, but after finding there were hundreds of reports and claims, he could find very little data or hard evidence to prove or even disprove the existence of UFOs. As Carter Cart reports tonight, Cote is getting set out to do something about that. They've been seen all over Canada this year. Ottawa. Oh, there, it just took off for there, and now it's green. Quebec. Wow. And one spectacular incident in a remote part of Manitoba early this year. That's where it is claimed a UFO crashed into the ice on Lake Winnipeg near the Jackhead Aboriginal Reserve. The military was apparently involved in retrieving it. This is alleged to be the smoke trail as it went down.
This is alleged to be the UFO stuck in the ice. The Canadian government says it was a routine armed forces winter exercise, not a UFO. Usually if you have a phenomenon that seems interesting, whether it it is caused by something or it isn't caused by something, you want to do experiments. Dave Cote is a software engineer from Maple Ridge, BC, and he has an idea. Cote is trying to launch a small private satellite built to specifically monitor UFO activity. As technology advances and it becomes apparent that, you know, space travel is obviously possible, um, people are seeing things that seem beyond human capability. Um, maybe we should study this. The project is called CubeSat for Disclosure. The small private satellite would be equipped with two 360-degree cameras, a special device to detect high source radiation, and with luck, a tiny radar unit the size of a postage stamp. So what we want to do is we want to actually do an experiment that could verify it or refute it and, you know, add to the evidence. Cote has support from a colleague who is writing a master's degree in CubeSat optimization, as well as other supporters with scientific backgrounds. The proposed satellite will cost roughly $50,000 to build and launch, and there's an online campaign to raise money. But what would government authorities think of a private satellite searching for UFOs? I guess I'll find out if some men in black come and talk to me and you know try to silence me or something. I mean, that would be very, it would be very interesting because you know, it would raise the question as to, well, why? Cote hopes to start building the satellite in about two months. And even if they don't reach their full funding goal to include all the equipment they want, the launch is still a go. Oh, definitely, yeah. It'll be sometime uh, 2016. After all, as they say, the truth is out there. In Hamilton, Scott Urquhart, CHCH News. Un grupo de jóvenes científicos canadienses eh, se encuentra desarrollando un proyecto para lanzar un satélite a la estratosfera y grabar la actividad del fenómeno OVNI cerca de la Tierra. Estará en órbita durante tres meses y si todo sale bien, se continuarán enviando estos satélites. Tercer Milenio será parte integral de este proyecto. Vamos a participar con ellos y a estar informando de todos los avances que se den. Las imágenes inmediatamente serán subidas sin la intervención de ningún gobierno a Internet para que sean propiedad de la sociedad civil. ¿Qué le parece a usted? Usted puede participar haciendo un donativo. Lo puede hacer dir directamente en tercermilenio.tv. Allí encontrará las instrucciones para que se ponga en contacto con estos jóvenes. Extraordinario proyecto. Aquí le presento la investigación de Carlos Rubio. Numerosos políticos, militares retirados, científicos y pilotos han denunciado el encubrimiento por parte de los gobiernos sobre la realidad ovni extraterrestre, manteniendo en secreto las evidencias que comprobarían que no estamos solos en el universo, además de desestimar y ridiculizar testimonios, fotografías y filmaciones, razones por las cuales un grupo de ciudadanos interesados en dar a conocer la verdad han decidido obtener por sí mismos las evidencias de la presencia ovni alrededor de la Tierra al colocar un satélite en órbita que los detecte. Iniciativa completamente independiente, ya que no está financiada por gobiernos o organismos internacionales. El proyecto se llama CubeSat para la divulgación y fue desarrollado por el ingeniero de software canadiense Dave Cote, junto con el consultor de diseño y experto en medios Mark Richfield. El equipo pretende confirmar que gobiernos, militares y medios de comunicación han realizado grandes esfuerzos para desacreditar la idea de que los extraterrestres nos visitan. Los jóvenes desarrolladores canadienses pretenden recaudar 50 mil dólares para colocar un satélite en miniatura con forma de cubo, usualmente empleado para la investigación espacial, llamado CubeSat, en la órbita terrestre baja. Los fondos cubrirán el costo del satélite, una o dos cámaras de alto rendimiento con lentes parabólicos, para una vista de 360 grados, un enlace para comunicaciones y un satélite de antenas desplegables. El satélite tomará fotografías de los fenómenos anómalos que ocurran alrededor del planeta, publicándolas en línea, sin que autoridades gubernamentales o militares las puedan manipular. Además, el CubeSat podrá ser controlado por cualquier persona que aporte los recursos indicados por el equipo. Los desarrolladores basan su proyecto en las declaraciones de numerosos testigos altamente calificados que ya han hecho público el encubrimiento de los gobiernos sobre los visitantes extraterrestres, como el exministro de la Defensa del Canadá, el Honorable Paul Hellier. 
así como pilotos y controladores aéreos, que también confirman la presencia de los objetos voladores no identificados, como el recientemente fallecido piloto de vuelos comerciales, quien dirigiera el avión del entonces candidato a la presidencia de los Estados Unidos, Barack Obama, el capitán Andy Danziger. Uh, the government discounts every single report that ever seems to come out. The news media tends to, or at least in the past, has tended to uh, ridicule every UFO report. La campaña de los desarrolladores canadienses Dave Cote y Mark Richfield para colocar un satélite en miniatura en la órbita terrestre que capture las evidencias de la presencia de los no identificados sin la intervención y manipulación de agencias gubernamentales, sin duda, es un paso importante para que la sociedad civil tome el control en la búsqueda de la verdad sobre la realidad ovni extraterrestre. Para Tercer Milenio, Carlos Rubio.